bloody hell. Um, excuse me, do you not see me sitting here? Yeah, I saw you. I just chose to ignore you. You must like living dangerously. I do. And that's why stopping here doing this with you, well, that's playing with fire. But there's nothing wrong with a little casual conversation. What happens when casual conversation becomes serious fun? Oh, you're good. <laughs> I can promise you I'm better than good. Stephen Huntley, senior partner, London office. Donna. Just Donna? Yeah, it's like a name and a title in one. <laughs> You'll see. I've heard. Secretary pool has been buzzing about some new feisty ginger for a fortnight. Look, if you're trying to charm your way into Harvey's office, it's not going to happen. Mm, no, I'm not trying to charm my way into Harvey's office. Oh, what were you trying for? Well, actually, I was going to try for... Donna, I need you to send Lewis everything we have on Tony Giannopoulos. He's running point. Harvey, a pleasure. I'm Stephen. I know who you are, and I know why you're here. You're Darby's fixer, and you're here to hijack my case. Did you text him whilst you we were... You said you're good? I'm good, too. This isn't over. Is that a threat? Mm. You take it in whatever tone pleases you the most. You're right. I am Darby's fixer, but I'm not here to hijack anything. Now, when I got on the plane at Heathrow, this was still merely bribery. I've only just learned of the murder charges now as I touch down. It just means the timing change, not the motive. Forget the bombshell the prosecution has just dropped. Let's talk about the bombshell outside your office. Donna? She's got a body like Elizabeth Hurley and the sass of Maggie Thatcher. I went out with Liz. Don't sell her short in the sass department. Ah, I'm well aware of her sass. 99. 98? Really? Well, you're obviously a better man than I am. Don't beat yourself up. You got plenty of company. By the way, before you say anything else, she can hear every word we say. Now, I've got a murder charge to defend, so why don't you tell me why the hell you're really here? Well, I'm here to oversee cultural integration. Cultural integration? Standard part of the merger, been on the books for two weeks. And why do you need me? Well, smoothing over these transitional periods is never easy. It's not child's play. You're an influencer here. People listen to you. I want you to help them listen to me. I get it. You want me to pave the way for you. Here's the thing. I don't pave the way for people. People pave the way for me. I get it. Stay clear of you and you and I'll get along just fine. Welcome to New York.